Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Jung and I'm the Executive Chef for Retail Dining here at the University of Massachusetts. And today, I'm going to show you a really, really elegant uh, appetizer that you can serve at any of your holiday parties coming up. It is a uh, duck tart that's going to feature uh, California uh, grapes. So we've got our uh, duck breast here that I've trimmed, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to season it with a little bit of uh, Chinese five spice into our uh, pan here, and I'm just going to put it skin side down. And it's okay that it's a cold pan because what we're going to do is render it, and what we want to do is bring up the temperature uh, slowly. Okay. So then this will go in our cast iron. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, cast iron uh, for applications like this, this or bacon. Um, okay, and I've got our uh, duck legs here that I trimmed off of a whole duck. Okay, I'm just going to add just a little bit of kosher salt to it. And I've got some duck fat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a confit. And a confit is a slow cooked duck uh, with its own fat and uh, in days past, they used to do this uh, to preserve it. They would cook it, then put cool it down, and then put it in a jar, and then cap it with uh, the oil. Uh, to a way of preserving it uh, in France. So I'm going to bring these over to the stove, and then I'll show you the next step here. So uh, for the next step, what I'm going to do is uh, we're, we're going to uh, spice up some, uh, some nuts here. So I've got some beautiful uh, walnuts here. I'm just going to add it to our pan. Okay. I've got some uh, beautiful uh, cinnamon sticks here. And the reason why I'm using sticks instead of uh, the powder is because of uh, the chalkiness of, of the powder. So uh, what I want is the flavor, but, but not that texture. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here. Uh, some more of that Chinese five spice. This will give it a great uh, spice to it. Okay, and I've got some local uh, maple syrup from uh, North Hadley uh, Sugar Shack. And I'm just going to put this on the stove over uh, medium low heat for about 10, uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, so the uh, wall bus can get all nice and caramelized. Okay, so for uh, the next step here, uh, well, that is, I've got some uh, beautiful uh, local chef uh, from um, North Amherst here at uh, Thomas Farms. Uh, I've got some uh, local uh, heavy cream here, and that's from uh, Maple Line in Hadley. And I've got some uh, cream cheese here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this uh, cream uh, cheese chef spread to the bottom of our tart. All right, and what I'm going to do is just add this to the bowl. Okay, and I'm just going to just mash it up with my fork here. Okay, it's a beautiful local uh, local product. Uh, we've actually met the goats up there. And uh, Marlene, who's behind the camera, uh, can attest to that they are adorable and cute and have uh, this great milk. Okay. And we're just going to incorporate the two together here. Okay. And at this stage, I'm going to add a little kosher salt. Whenever you're working with fat or pretty much anything in general, you want to make sure that you have a good amount of seasoning. Okay. And I'm just going to add some heavy cream here to thin it out. Gonna add a little bit more. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this a little bit more, and then I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so for uh, the next step, let's uh, do a little uh, knife work. So I've got our chives here, and what we're gonna do is then incorporate that into our uh, spread that uh, I finished up here. That's a quick little chop here. All right. All right. So I'm just going to add them to our spread here. And I'm just going to save a little bit for the garnish. Oops. 
Okay, so uh, for our next step, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to uh, quarter these uh, beautiful uh, California grapes here. So let's start with these black ones here. And we're not going to need them all. I'm just going to take my sharp knife here. I'm just going to cut them into small little half moons, quarter moons. Okay, you can see that they have this great, beautiful, uh, beautiful color uh, to them. And the knife cuts don't have to be exact. If anything, if it's a little bit more rustic, that's probably uh, probably better uh, than uh, having them perfectly diced. Okay, so let's uh, start on our uh, green uh, grapes here. So we're gonna do the same thing. And again, just uh, some, some rustic chops. Uh, I think the, the different shapes and sizes are uh, actually uh, appealing uh, when you're doing uh, something like this, that it's not um, cut so small that you can't tell um, what the items are. And these grapes have a, have a great flavor, uh, really great texture. And then uh, actually when you do bite into them, they kind of uh, gush a little bit. So uh, really, really great. Uh, the seed books, of course, uh, which just helps so much when you're, uh, you're snacking on them. So uh, I'm going to do up a couple more and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so let's uh, take a look at our duck breast and our uh, walnuts. So you can see this has come up. That's two nice little blades here, so I'm going to shut off the feet. Okay, and we're just going to take a look at our duck breast. You can see how much oil has rendered. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, so we're going to let it go for uh, about five more minutes or so, and then I'll flip it over. And then we'll cook that side. And what we're looking for is about the uh, medium to medium rare on, on the uh, on the duck breast. Make sure that it's just over that medium rare, so it has a really nice texture. All right. So for uh, we're over at uh, the stove again, and uh, you can see like I flipped over uh, the duck, and you can see how well uh, that caramelized there. So this is why I'm such a big fan of um, cast iron and doing uh, items like this because. It can render uh, the fat out and then just give it a nice gentle heat so it can caramelize really well. Uh, we're going to go for another uh, minute or two on this side and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so for our last step here, and uh, I'll, I'll show you what I've done. Uh, I've taken our uh, duck breast out of our uh, pan there and I'm just letting it rest here. You can see some of the juices are coming out, so we're going to let that go for a little bit longer. And I've got a couple more uh, items over here. What I've done is I've uh, actually uh, taken the uh, duck legs out and I've shredded them, okay? And then we had some uh, crispy uh, shreds as well, which were on uh, kind of the ends of uh, the duck uh, duck legs there, okay? And what I've done as well is I've taken the skin and I've actually uh, deep fried these quickly to make a uh, duck uh, chicharrones. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do is break these up and use that as a last little garnish. And I've got our uh, walnuts here uh, as well. So let's finish this part. All right. I'm just going to take some of our uh, spread here. I'm just going to add it to uh, the tart uh, that the bake shop was able to make for me yesterday. Okay. And we're just going to spread it out just a little bit here, just a nice thin layer. Make sure we get right into those corners. All right. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a nice, even spread. Make sure we get into those corners. Okay. So then I'm going to add our, uh, our confit of duck here. a nice liberal layer on and we'll add our uh, I guess we'll call it our uh, duck uh, jerky here and this will add a nice uh, counter uh, texture uh, to the crispiness of our uh, tart here kind of leathery and chewy uh, which will pair perfect with our uh, grapes. I've got some uh, paper towels here. And we'll take our duck breast. Let's give it a nice little pat here. Okay. And let's 
and give it some nice little thin slices here. All right, and you can see it's just cooked to uh, medium here uh, while the, the skin has been uh, rendered and nice and crispy. Just put these guys right in the middle. And you can see how juicy uh, the, the duck is. And that just comes from really, really good cooking here. We just need a couple more pieces, so let me cut this dress. And again, it just has this beautiful little, little pink color. All right, a couple more pieces here. There we go. We'll take our uh, walnuts, our candy walnuts with that five spice. We'll give this just a quick little rough little chop. Right. Just gonna add this. And on the bottom here for our duck, let's grab our beautiful grapes here. right on top and they'll pair really really well uh, with the chef down there okay and the, the chicharrones why don't we just make it rain a little bit some of this beautiful crispy rendered duck skin this will obviously add richness but also a nice little crispy wafery uh, type of texture and let's just finish it off with some beautiful chives right on top. All right, so let's put this on our plate. And there you have it. So we've got our uh, our uh, duck tart with uh, California grapes. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you next time.